What's up YouTube? Hello guys. So usually I have my regular intro, but I feel like this is a different mood, so I'm going to save it. But this is Amaria with the tips, tricks, and tea of life, so smash the subscribe button if you feel this video. Um, but listen, so um, I wasn't going to make a video about this topic, but it, it just blew my mind. Um, just the things that I've been seeing and what I just saw. So anyways, um, if you guys heard about the Derek Jackson situation with him and his wife, uh, I didn't want to talk about it because, like I said, this is really nobody's business. Like, this is something that they got going on, and they decided to bring it out to social media. stuff. So, so everybody started having their opinion about it, but um, then it started coming to light that he came out with a book. and just, Okay, so anyways, at the end of the day, they're capitalizing off of it, but let's pay attention to a couple things because this is a lot of things that I like to show you guys like I said as I'm learning things in life I want to teach you guys or show you guys the things that I'm learning and if you notice you, there's so many different types of people in this world that we're not even really recognizing so I'm going to show you guys a snippet of this video right here and um just watch this snippet just and just tell me what you guys think right and then we're going to talk after that all right just watch it Public to you guys, so we're bringing that forth to you guys to let you know where we're at with that. But did you want to say anything? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So I do want to just add that I agree with what he just said. There is no justification for bringing other women into our marriage on any level. When I found out about it, I left. I did not hesitate or waste time to do so, and I stayed gone. No matter how many times he came, I stayed gone. No matter how many times he came, I stayed gone and stood firm on, I am not coming back. And I did not come back until I seen a shift and a change in his mentality. So there's nothing out there right now that is information that I don't already know about or haven't known about. Um, and so this is not something that uh, is new. <laughs> we have uh, moved forward from it. We have gotten counsel for, for it and continue to do so. He is still continuing to pursue God and continuing to seek guidance and, and wise counsel from um, men of God. So today, where I'm at is at peace and I proudly stand by his side and I have no hesitation. I have no hurt, no shame about that. We have already turned a new chapter <laughs> in this story. Um, we are continu continuing to move forward and we are just now sharing that with you. I forgave him and most importantly, God has first forgiven him. Never speak for God because he knows things and sees things that even we don't see and that even we don't know. Keep it in mind. And I also forgive the others as well. And with that, we are free and moving forward. So Absolutely. that's all I have. If you get nothing else from what I've ever said over the last nine years or right here in this video, please get this. Nothing is right until it is right with God. Mm -hmm. Nothing works until it comes into alignment with biblical standard of how God told us to do things, especially when we're talking about a marital, spiritual, a spiritual covenant. Yes. You know, you cannot do this by your own understanding, your own intelligence, no. your own willpower, your own values. You have to have the grace of God. Okay, guys, so um, I cut it off there because it was the narcissism for me. At the end of the day, um, first off, why would you ask her, does she have anything to say? You cheated on her. You should have been shutting up, and she should have been the one talking. Like, hey, this is what he did, da 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 You know what I mean? Not even this is what he did, but, like, at the end of the day, like, you should not have been, it should, no, it shouldn't have went like that. That, that. that felt wrong to me. Not to mention the fact that I feel like he was holding her hand mad tight. You should have let go, loosen your grip, especially when she was talking. She started stuttering. I don't know. I feel like he, maybe he was tightening up his hand. And then look at this, look, you look right here where he gonna give her that look when right when she starts talking and says something that I feel like rubbed him the wrong way. Because his poker face was good, but it wasn't that good. Check this out. And stood firm on, I am not coming back. I don't know. You could say I'm reading into it, but 
<sighs> like I said, it was too many red flags for me. And then the fact that I'm going to put in this next half, um, this video where I was actually watching this, he reacted to his video of him and his wife sitting down just now that you guys just saw. He reacted to that video himself in a car reacting to that. So basically, when you came out with that video of confessing to cheating to your wife, because you didn't even confess, first off, you were like, um, yeah, just like how men be out here doing da da da. I forgot what he said exactly, but he was like, oh, just how he 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 brought up how other people be doing it. And they were like, yeah, Derek Jackson had relations with other women. First off, you're talking about yourself in third person. Nigga, don't say you. Don't say say I. I cheated on my wife. I am sorry for disrespecting her. Something along those lines. Not that, cause that wasn't an apology. That wasn't a com. It wasn't even really a confession for real. You weren't even talking about. It was like you was talking about somebody else. Like that's your friend. You know, disrespect for me. Okay, and um, yeah. Then not to mention. Just, oh, just please, guys. Look, just watch the second half. Just watch the second half. So, when I looked in the comments of this video, uh, I don't know if old boy was trolling or not, but he said, D, I think I want to see a reaction to this video. So, let's do it. And by the way, I'm going to speak in third person. Um, a lot of you already seen this, but this is Derek Jackson. Um, a lot of people think of him as a relationship expert and guru and all of that. Well, he and his wife are making this video because apparently at some point in their marriage or maybe even beforehand in the relationship. But did he or did he not say in his confession that he stepped out of his relationship? No, he, he said he stepped out of his marriage. So how are you going to imply that it happened beforehand now? You forgot. He didn't take his own advice and he stepped out and he got involved with other women, as you heard them say. Now, upon first impression, nothing really stuck out to me about him, but more so about the wife. Like I heard her say that she stands with her husband. She's proud to love him. Um, I heard her say that, you know, this is some time ago. They've already processed this, overcame this, dealt with this a long time ago and nothing's really new to her. But just by her body language, I was really wondering, like, did he force her to do this video? Like, she looks super uncomfortable, like she doesn't want to be there. But then I watched their live chat that they did right afterwards, and, you know, I kind of caught that this is just a part of her personality, so that kind of explains somewhat of her demeanor. You know, she clearly has a mind of her own, if you saw the live chat, too. And she said that the live chat even was her idea. Um, so with that... At this point, I don't think she wants to be there either. But I'll keep listening. For now cool she wants to stand by her husband she feels like he's worth it she has that right now as far as what he said I understand and I and I completely applaud him taking accountability because too many times we see dudes and they got this sob story about how they was raised and you know they broken home and they go like saying oh I made I made some mistakes those mistakes included having sex with multiple women while you were married but you took accountability right fish died and they never seen a marriage and all that. he didn't do that he just took accountability but i hope he understands that all the accountability in the world is not going to rebuild broken trust not on a personal level and even with the public that he's addressing like even his most loyal supporters at this point will probably have a raised eyebrow from this point forward whenever he wants to condemn another man for something like this and, and right because you did what you wanted to do and now you're trying to make up stuff and just make reasons for why you did it like or why oh now it's time to think about something else but hopefully so so hopefully he understands that and i also thought it was very intriguing how he brought in god at the end you know i don't really hear him speak like that so you know do it god's way or else it's going to fail now if i saw that a couple of years ago I honestly would have called BS. I honestly would have been like, nah, dude, like you can't use God as a scapegoat. You know, as if you- You did use it as a scapegoat. It's mad disrespectful. I don't know why people aren't seeing that. Not having Jesus is why you did what you did. Like if Jesus was there with you when you was with those other women, Jesus would have zipped up your zipper for you. That's, that's not how it worked. Like, who are you kidding? 
But now I have a relationship with God for myself, so I hear things a little bit differently. And what I heard whenever he said that was that, you know, when you go into a godly commitment, which marriage is supposed to be, you can't lean on your own understanding. You can't do it by yourself. You can't do it by your own willpower, your own good intentions and vows and love for a person. If you go into a godly commitment, you have to lean on God. You have to do things like to God's standard. You have to rely on God's grace. That's the only way you're going to be able to do it for the long term. If you loved her, you would have zipped up your own pants. What? And you have to watch out for people like that. People that will play into the things that you hold dear. His wife is probably very religious and this probably holds, you know what I mean, religion and God and just everything along those lines very dear to her. So he's using that as a way to say, oh, I'm here now. I'm where you need me to be. Be happy about it. Like, that's what I'm getting. 